main event time from Anaheim, California. Who will challenge the World Heavyweight Champion at WrestleMania? The following contest is an Elimination Chamber match. Making his way to the ring from Hagerstown, Maryland. Weighing in at 240 pounds, L.A. Knight. The defiant L.A. Knight earned this opportunity alongside Robert Roode this past Friday night on SmackDown in a tag team Elimination Chamber qualifying matchup. They defeated Jeff Hardy and his tag team partner, The Hurricane, to punch their tickets to the Chamber tonight. And the defiant LA Knight, the first man to take a spot inside one of four pods. Same rules apply as earlier this evening. Four people will enter the pods. Two men will start. The last man standing will be on his way to the grandest stage of them all, WrestleMania. And after the World Championship matchup earlier tonight, we now know who will defend the gold in Tampa Bay. That, of course, being the revolutionary Seth freaking Rollins. And his opponents, first, from Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 182 pounds, Mustafa Ali. The man who most recently held the United States Championship on Friday Night SmackDown wants to hold the biggest championship he can hold, and that's the World Heavyweight title. And what a predicament. Seth Rollins would find himself in at WrestleMania if Mustafa Ali is on the other side of the ring. Remember the history between those two men dating back to last spring and summer. Ali with four or five victories, whatever it was, over Seth Rollins time after time. If anybody knows Rollins and how to get it done, it's that man, Mustafa Ali. If I was the revolutionary, I'd be very afraid of facing the heart and soul of Friday Night SmackDown again. But here comes a man who is looking to have a bounce back year in 2023. The Scottish Warrior. This fire breathing son of a bitch, Drew McIntyre, enters the dangerous elimination chamber. And from Air Scotland, weighing in at 254 pounds. It is no secret the lackluster 2023, or excuse me, 2022 that Drew McIntyre had here in the WWE. He failed on multiple occasions to obtain the Intercontinental Championship, the WWE Championship. Failed in those main event spots, in those big time spotlight matches. We have talked about how McIntyre is looking to have a bounce back year in 2023. And what better way to make a comeback than to punch your ticket to the Friday Night SmackDown main event at WrestleMania. McIntyre knows what it's like to be in that stage. It was just three years ago that he defeated Brock Lesnar for the WWE Championship in the main event of Mania. Can McIntyre get back to the show of shows here tonight? Or will it be this man? He is no stranger to the main event as well. The franchise is in Anaheim. And from West Newberry, Massachusetts, weighing in at 251 pounds, John Cena! John Cena took on Seth Rollins back at the Royal Rumble on January 1st for the World Heavyweight Championship. He came up short on that night. You roll back a little even further to December the 9th at the All-Star kickoff. The four-way elimination matchup came down to Cena and Rollins, and Rollins won again. Is a third time going to be a charm if John Cena can face Seth Rollins at WrestleMania? He is a 16-time world champion. And John Cena wants to make that number 17. Can he get the job done? Inside a matchup he is no stranger to, the Elimination Chamber. He has won inside this structure before. He's main evented WrestleMania countless times. He has won the big one countless times. Is Seth Rollins, however, the kryptonite to John Cena's 17th World Championship aspirations? 
That is a question that we could only find out in due time. The four pods have been filled. We now know the two men that will start this matchup, one of them being a former NXT World Champion, the glorious Robert Roode. The Elimination Chamber just became that much more glorious. As we mentioned, Robert Roode is a former NXT champion as well as a former tag team champion here in the WWE and a former United States champion. But he has never held the WWE or World Heavyweight Championship. Is tonight the night that Robert Roode takes that next step? He is a veteran of the ring, a veteran of the squared circle, but he's never been in the main event of WrestleMania and he's never held the big gold belt. Is tonight the night for the glorious one to punch his ticket to the show of shows, the grandest stage of them all. Imagine Robert Roode taking the spotlight in Raymond James Stadium, Saturday night, February 25th, Sunday night, February 26th, a two night spectacular at WrestleMania. McIntyre, Ali, Knight and Cena, Inside the pods, the glorious Robert Roode, one of two participants to kick off your main event from the Honda Center, Anaheim, California, in the Elimination Chamber. Roode doing what Roode does best, getting into the psyche of his challengers, letting them watch as he soaks in the spotlight, mouthing off to all four men inside the pods, including the man he teamed with just this past week on SmackDown in LA Knight. Well, Rude and Cena, that's a one-on-one -on -one matchup I would love to see in the future, but here comes the last man to enter the Elimination Chamber. Kicking off this matchup with Robert Rude, the Prince is in Anaheim. And from Bray County, Wicklow, Ireland, Weighing in at 190 pounds, Finn Balor! If you want to talk about accolades, you got to look at the Prince Finn Balor. Former United States Champion, former Intercontinental Champion, and former multiple-time NXT Champion. He has gotten the job done on the grandest stage of them all before, but never in the main event, and never for the World Championship. You want to talk about is tonight the night for Robert Roode as well as the rest of these competitors? Well, is tonight the night for the Prince Finn Balor to get to a spot that a lot of superstars and a lot of the WWE Universe believe that Finn Balor would have accomplished by now. The main event of WrestleMania for a WWE World Championship. Just as we said with John Cena, just as the case is for every other man in this matchup, we will know in due time. This is certainly a big fight feel here tonight. The winner of this match will meet the visionary, the revolutionary, and of course the world heavyweight champion, Seth freaking Rollins at the grandest stage of them all, WrestleMania. That will be the Friday Night SmackDown main event at the show of shows. And we are gonna find out what that matchup is gonna be after the second bell sounds tonight. The chamber has closed. The matchup is officially set. And the bell has sounded. We are officially underway. Finn Balor and Robert Roode kicking things off inside the elimination chamber. Same rules apply as earlier tonight, of course. Pinfall submission, the only way to be eliminated. Last man standing is going to WrestleMania. Robert Roode going to go early, but Balor not able to get it done just yet. This match, as we mentioned earlier, only gets more dangerous, only gets more chaotic as the ring begins to fill up with superstars. We will find out our first entry into this matchup from one of the four pods in just a moment. Right now, Roode and Balor going at it alone. That's another singles matchup I would love to see in due time on Friday Night SmackDown. 
Root, of course, along with LA Knight, the last to qualify for this matchup this past week on SmackDown in that tag team affair. But who is going to join Root and Balor as the third entrant in Elimination Chamber? Who's it going to be? It is going to be the Scottish Warrior, Drew McIntyre. Drew McIntyre enters the Elimination Chamber matchup and a superstar of this size. That man's strength, that man's caliber, now put him inside of this structure, only gonna make him more dangerous. Just stacked Balor and Rude up like Cordwood in the corner, now taking the fight to the glorious Rude, a man he's got history with, a man he dethroned back in 2017 for the NXT title. Now just like that, you see how the complexion of the match changes. Balor and McIntyre, excuse me, Balor and Rude were going at it. McIntyre entered the matchup and suddenly all eyes are on the Scottish Warrior as Balor goes to the top rope but is met with a shot to the rib cage by McIntyre. Fourth entrant coming up, this matchup turns from a three to a four way. Cena, LA Knight, and Mustafa Ali inside of the chamber, and it's gonna be the defiant LA Knight, a man who's had a lot of issues with Drew McIntyre over the last few weeks. Remember prior to the Royal Rumble, McIntyre defeated Knight on SmackDown. LA Knight dropped him with a low blow after the match. And then LA Knight, you know, it was his second opportunity this past week on SmackDown as McIntyre had originally defeated him in an Elimination Chamber qualifying matchup. Look at that, no rest for the weary, Rude and LA Knight showing no love. They might have qualified for this match together this past Friday, but it's every man for himself when you step inside the Elimination Chamber with an opportunity to main event WrestleMania on the line. Oh, and Balor McIntyre going out on the outside. Nice code breaker on the outside by Balor, and LA Knight takes down Rude up the moonsault. And the superstar is just going to keep on coming until this ring is filled with six. Ali and Cena stare across the ring from each other. Who is going to be the fifth entrant? And it is the former United States champion, the heart and soul of Friday Night SmackDown, Mustafa Ali. Ali, again, as we mentioned, won the United States Championship back on December the 9th at the All-Star kickoff. Lost it just... 11 days later on the 21st of December at Saturday night's main event to the man you saw in that ring earlier, the almighty Bobby Lashley. How sweet would it be if Ali is able to right those wrongs and kick in the door of 2023 by becoming the number one contender for the world championship. And you got to feel that Ali would be pretty confident heading into WrestleMania after all the history of victories he owns over Seth Rollins find out if that'll be the case the next time we hear the bell we see how chaotic this matchup has got with five superstars how chaotic is it gonna get when you add a six the franchise john cena gonna be added to the fray right here right now cena's pod door opens and all six men have entered the elimination chamber Remember, eliminations can occur at any time by pinfall or submission. And you see the chaos as all six men are teeing off on each other right now. McIntyre and Cena rolling away. And I might be wrong, but I believe McIntyre may have a cut over the eye. I'm not exactly sure it's from our vantage point, but I believe McIntyre may be showing some wounds inside the elimination chamber. Power slam Cena. Remember, those two men got history. John Cena originally qualified to face Seth Rollins back at the Royal Rumble by defeating Drew McIntyre. McIntyre goes back after LA Knight, unfinished business between those two men. Mustafa Ali going after John Cena. Ali actually owns a victory over John Cena. What a date back to last August on Monday Night Raw. Ali has defeated the franchise in his history. Big time tornado DDT to Cena as we speak. Oh, he's not done yet. Make it a dose by Ali. Down goes Cena again, I believe. John Cena, oh, that's a big gash from our vantage point. John Cena has also been busted wide open. The Elimination Chamber calling these men to take a sacrifice for their wants and needs here tonight. Rude almost eliminated Cena with the pinfall on Balor. Referee's a little out of position. There's the cover. Balor gets the shoulder up. All these men got history with each other. Robert Roode had defeated Mustafa Ali to qualify for the All-Star kickoff. Same thing with John Cena defeating Finn Balor. 
the end of the day, you are looking at six of Friday Night SmackDown's top superstars, and whoever wins this matchup will certainly be a deserving challenger to fight Seth Rollins at WrestleMania. Meanwhile, take a look at the Scottish warrior, Drew McIntyre, who sails to the outside of the ring with an elbow drop on LA Knight. Into the cover, first elimination coming, not just yet as LA Knight gets the shoulder up. Well, what a maneuver by McIntyre, throwing caution in the win, any means necessary to get the win here tonight. Robert Roode laying out Mustafa Ali in the, in the ring. Balor laying out Cena. McIntyre throwing LA Knight into the wall. A lot of action to cover here inside of this demonic structure. McIntyre again heading up to the top rope. Delivers another elbow. I think only caught a little bit of LA Knight there. Roode and Ali on the outside. Cena and Balor on the other end. McIntyre trying to eliminate LA Knight again in this matchup, and LA Knight gets the shoulder up. Now Cena again. This is the second time referee's been a little out of the vantage point. Cena trying to eliminate Finn Balor. Two count here, but Balor gets the shoulder up. And Cena might have had Balor there had the referee not been focused on McIntyre and Knight. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Mustafa Ali is climbing the side of the elimination chamber, taking flight! Ali with the crossbody to Robert Roode. Sacrifice to win, and there's an elimination. Our first casualty of the elimination chamber, Robert Roode's ribs getting crushed. And now Balor trying to eliminate Cena on the outside of the ring, Cena breaking out of it, but I cannot believe what we just saw moments ago. Mustafa Ali sacrificed to succeed. That crossbody off the wall of the chamber, crushing the windpipe of Robert Roode and an elimination by Ali. Roode, the first man to hit the showers in the elimination chamber tonight. That brings us down to five. Wait a minute, Cena. Balor's down and out. Cena's looking for a little bit of that five. Knuckle shuffle to Finn Balor. And that may be all she wrote on the Prince's Evening here in Anaheim. And it is. Balor has been eliminated. And just like that, we are down to four. Balor gone by hands of Cena. Rude gone by hands of Ali. And we are down to four men to decide who goes to WrestleMania. The defiant LA Knight, the Scottish warrior Drew McIntyre, the heart and soul of SmackDown and Mustafa Ali, and the franchise, John Cena. And what a fight this has been. Cena and McIntyre showing wounds, rocking the crimson mask in this elimination chamber. Ali throwing caution in the wind. This is what main event in WrestleMania means to these superstars. And whoever fights Seth Rollins is certainly going to be a deserving challenger. And Rollins is absolutely going to have his hands full on the grandest stage of them all. Oh, wait a minute. Look at that. Out of nowhere. An attitude adjustment to LA Knight. Came up from behind and caught him. LA Knight has been eliminated. LA Knight had laid out, I believe, Drew McIntyre. And then he turned around into an attitude adjustment. Cena eliminates Knight. And we are down to three men. Ali, who is ruling the ring. And look at that, going for that Koji clutch on John Cena. Ali's got it locked in. If Cena taps, we will be down to two. Oh, Ali's got a wrench, but Cena able to counter there. Cena with blood gushing from the forehead. Correct me if I'm wrong, but McIntyre, McIntyre is still gushing as well. Mustafa Ali, God knows the condition of him after he dove off the chamber a couple of minutes ago. But nonetheless, we are down to three men inside of the Elimination Chamber. And Seth Rollins has got to not love the choices. It's going to be a lose-lose situation. Quite possibly for the visionary of WWE at WrestleMania. Ali to eliminate McIntyre. Not just yet. So Ali eliminated Rude. Cena has eliminated both Finn Balor and LA Knight from this matchup. Cena taking the fight tonight, and now Cena goes for the DDT. McIntyre says otherwise. Nice counter there by the Warrior. Goes for the Claymore, I believe, but Cena sidestepped it, and now finds McIntyre finds himself in a predicament. Little count out Drew. Kips up, and there's the strength from John Cena off the counter, and sends McIntyre into the turnbuckles. 
Now Cena to eliminate McIntyre to bring this thing to a 1v1, but McIntyre survives. Mustafa Ali's got to keep his eye on the ball. There's John Cena coming up from behind on Ali. Got to give the former United States champion credit. The heart and soul of Friday Night SmackDown's proven his worth. Wait a minute, small package by McIntyre. Cena's going to be gone. No, Cena breaks out of it. So close to another elimination there. On a McIntyre coming unhinged, stomping away on the heart of the franchise of WWE, John Cena. Keep your eye on Ali. Tornado DDT out of nowhere. And Ali super kicked to John Cena. Drop kick to McIntyre. Mustafa Ali is ruling the squared circle right now. Will Ali be the one to go to WrestleMania and face an old rival? Wait a minute, Cena. Attitude adjustment to Ali. Will it be another elimination for Cena? It is. Ali has been eliminated. Cena with his third elimination, and we are down to two men. The Scottish Warrior versus the franchise. Drew McIntyre versus John Cena. One of these men are gonna main event WrestleMania for the World Heavyweight Championship. As Cena comes off the top rope, hell bent on punching his ticket to the show of shows. And Cena has cleared house in this matchup. You gotta say the odds on favorite. Fighting through the pain, fighting through the wounds, the scars, the blood trickling from the forehead of Cena. He eliminated Rude here, or excuse me, he eliminated LA Knight, he eliminated Finn Balor, he eliminated Mustafa Ali. Is Drew McIntyre gonna be next? Cena wants a third shot at, or excuse me, at Seth Rollins at WrestleMania. He failed at the All-Star kickoff. He failed at the Royal Rumble. Could he succeed at the show of shows? Or will McIntyre be the one standing across the ring from Seth Rollins? Will McIntyre right the wrongs of 2022 and bounce back in 2023 in the Friday Night SmackDown main event in Tampa Bay, Florida? Sits out with the power bomb to go to WrestleMania. Not just yet as Cena gets the shoulder up. Man, we have got a fight on hand. The final two men inside your main event, the Elimination Chamber, Honda Center, Anaheim, California, Sunday night, January the 22nd, 2023. McIntyre wants to pummel John Cena. And Seth Rollins has got to be watching this match on the edge of his seat right now. Does he want to go three for three? versus John Cena, or does he want to test himself against Drew McIntyre? Only time will tell as McIntyre lays out Cena again. You gotta say Cena's the favorite after he's already has three eliminations in this matchup, but at the end of the day, both these men are battered and bruised, bleeding from the forehead. And neither one of these men want to give up the opportunity to fight for the title at Mania. McIntyre is unloading with a little bit of everything in the kitchen sink on John right now. What a overhead throw. The strength from this guy. Drew McIntyre is on a rampage in Anaheim. Cena has not been able to fight back the last minute or so. McIntyre has been all over Cena. You notice he hasn't gone for a pinfall just yet. He knows he's got to inflict more punishment on Cena to keep him down for good. McIntyre's rocking the Crimson Mask. John Cena's got color. Who is going to go to WrestleMania? Hit to the gut, continuing the offense. McIntyre, I guess, doesn't trust the offense just yet. Doesn't trust that he's done enough to keep Cena down. Not going for the pinfall here. You can't knock McIntyre. Wants to do everything he can to keep Cena out of it, but did he wait too long? There's a counter by Cena. Did McIntyre miss his chance? As now Cena muscles up the big man and sends him down to the canvas. And now Cena into the cover. Is he going to WrestleMania? McIntyre, only a one count there on Drew. That just shows the heart and the resilience of the Scottish Warrior. And a hit toss by the franchise player. Kip up by McIntyre. Neck breaker by Drew. Back and forth, the momentum swings inside the Elimination Chamber, goes for the Tomahawk chop off the top rope, but Cena sidesteps it. 
And now John Cena. Oh my goodness, a Hurricane Rana in the ring. Unorthodox maneuver out of the franchise arsenal, but any means necessary to win this contest tonight. Cena wrenching it in on Drew McIntyre right now. Clearly, McIntyre is feeling the damage from this Elimination Chamber match. Cena drags McIntyre and just sends him over the top rope. McIntyre, dead weight, not able to stop his momentum. He goes crashing on the floor. Now, wait a minute, Cena. Oh, no. Pinfall and submission counts on the outside. He's got the STFU locked in tight. If McIntyre taps out, Cena's going to WrestleMania. We saw an elimination on the outskirts of the ring earlier. Are we going to see another? Oh, my goodness. Look at the strength from Drew McIntyre. How the hell did he just break out of that? Any mortal man would have passed out moments ago, but McIntyre still has a fire inside of him. And now Drew McIntyre sends John Cena right into the pod. And he's not done just yet. Look at this, just grinding John Cena's head up against the steel. Did you hear that? Did you hear the thud? The carnage of Elimination Chamber is being played out before our very eyes as Cena gets set into the ring. McIntyre scales the rope. The big man from the top drops the elbow on Cena. Cena's down, McIntyre, oh my goodness, look at the strength, gut wrench, power bomb, sits out with it into the cover. Drew McIntyre is going to WrestleMania. Holy, what a main event. What a deserving challenger to headline one half of the Friday Night SmackDown main event for the World Heavyweight Championship at the grandest stage of them all. Here is your winner, Drew McIntyre. Look into the eyes of the challenger, the man who will try to knock Seth Rollins off the top of the mountain at the grandest stage of them all. WrestleMania, the Friday Night SmackDown main event has officially been signed. Hey, so I'm gonna chase like that. Yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back. I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat. Gonna see me rise if you hate on that. I don't play both sides, doing me no cap. I'm a rock.